haven't lost the plot. Some might argue I never had it in the first place. But anyway, it's true. I'm an alien and so are you. We're all aliens in this material world. If you believe in a religion, whether it's Hinduism, Islam, Christianity or Judaism, you're an alien. Because all these faiths say we originated outside of Earth. Our origin is not Earth. We all belong in the spiritual world. You see, the moment you realise this, you'll start to think differently about life in general. You are a spiritual spark from the spiritual realm, full of wonderful, peaceful dimensions. It's our desire to enjoy the material world, is what separates us from our Lord. Some call him Allah, some Brahma, some Elohim and some just God or the Lord. Earth is actually alien for us. But many of us never see it because we really are conditioned from cradle to grave. We're meant to live in an eternal, blissful, heavenly state. But we find ourselves in a place where everything is temporary and there's misery. That's right, kids. Life's going to suck when you grow up. That's how it is and will always be. But never give up. Some people debate the meaning of life. What's the point? There is a point. The point is to live an experience. But realize that once this life is up, it's not the end. Because eternal life awaits. And for eternal life to begin, should you not be preparing, acquiring knowledge to prepare your mind for the coming bliss, that breakthrough, that release? Because without acquiring knowledge and without spiritual purification, the breakthrough is a difficult one. Each of us is meant to have a body on this planet. It's our spacesuit, really. It's a temporary spacesuit to experience earthly life. Without this suit, we either burn, dissolve or won't be able to function. I think the main point is to create a spiritual atmosphere on Earth where our mood of service to God alone and serving all, hatred for none, should take over. This will open our minds to the real reason as to why we're here. Instead, we come to this alien place, Earth, which we call home, looking for cheap thrills. We settle for a body, the spacesuit, full of blood, pus and other horrible things, where everything is constantly getting old and dying, and hopes for happiness are destroyed by the temporary nature of the things we aspire to enjoy. You see folks, Earth isn't the only planet in this material realm. Actually, there are billions of galaxies in the material world, which is only a small section of the entire spiritual realm. In each galaxy, there are many, many planets. Some are heavenly, some are hellish, and some are in between. But each and every planet, there are living entities with different bodies. They have different frequencies. Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. But they too are living a material existence. This wonderful experience called life. Wherever in this world or universe one is, one is an alien because our original place is a spiritual world with God. All right.